All right, we're going to be doing a special lesson right now on multiplying mixed numbers and also on how to multiply by the reciprocal of a mixed number. So those, both of those ideas are going to be taught on this lesson right now. And we've got some special guests, studio audience here, uh, some students. Say hi, everybody. Hi. Oh, there they are. Okay. They're going to be helping me out on the lesson here today. So first of all, we have to know, do you know how to multiply fractions, just plain old fractions? So you have 3 fourths times, let's say, 1 eighth. You guys know how to multiply, do that. Okay. So what do, what do I do? Just 3 times 1, okay, equals 3. 4 times 8 equals 32. So that's pretty simple so far, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, now we need to know that you know what a mixed number is. You guys know what the difference between a mixed number and a fraction? Okay, so what's what's a mixed number? Give me an example of a mixed number. Theo, you know a mixed number? Anything? What does a mixed number have? <laughs> Is three fourths a mixed number? Okay, do you know what mixed nuts are? You go to the store and you get a can of mixed nuts. Does it have all the same kind of nuts in it? No. No. So we have to have a number that's mixed. It can't have all the same kinds of numbers in it. And this is called a what? Fraction, right? Okay, so it's just a fraction. There's no mixing there. So can you figure out what it is yet? What's a mixed number? Yeah. Two over five. No. Um, yeah. Four over three. Four over three. What's that called? Uh, mixed fraction. No. What is that called? You remember? This is called an improper fraction, right? Okay. So what's a mixed number? We're talking about multiplying mixed numbers. What is that? One three. There you go. One and three fourths. Okay. What is one? Is that a fraction? No. What is it? It's a whole number, right? That's a whole number, and this is a fraction. This is almonds, and this is peanuts, and together we put them in a can and we call it mixed nuts, right? This is a whole number here, and this is a fraction here. We put them in a can and we call it a mixed number mixing two different kinds of numbers, whole numbers and fractions together. Okay, so you guys need to know the terminology. You need to know the difference between one and three-fourths is called a what? Mixed number. Mixed number. Okay, that's a mixed number. And this is called an improper what? Fraction. Fraction. Because why? Why is that an improper fraction? Head bigger than butt. Yep, head bigger than butt. Okay. Normally, when we have a fraction, the head's smaller. But in this situation, we have a big old head, little tiny body there. Okay? The head's a little bit too big. It's going to fall over, and we can make that into an improper fraction. Now, do you know how to change that into an improper fraction? That's another thing that you're going to need to know how to do in order to solve these problems. I'm going to get rid of all that. So if I have 7 fourths, what's that called again? Improper, Improper fraction. fraction. Okay, what, how do I make that into a mixed number? Tell me, everybody. What do I do? See how many fours, how many fours there are. Come on. It's seven. So how many fours are there in seven? One. Remainder what? Three. What do I do with the remainder? Three over four. Put it over the old denominator that used to be there, right? One and three fours. So you have to know how to do that as well to be able to do these. Okay, now let's take a look at the kind of problems that you're going to see. You're going to, they're going to say, multiply, I'm going to write some abbreviations here, multiply 2 and 1 half by the reciprocal of 3 and 1 fifth, let's say, something like that, right? And you're like, oh my goodness, this is really hard, how, I do, how do I do this problem? Well, let's make a simpler problem first. What if they just said multiply one half by the reciprocal of one fifth? Would you know how to do that? Yeah. Okay. 
what do I do? What problem do I actually write in order to multiply one half by the reciprocal of one fifth? One half, one half times what? Five, five over one. one, right? And so I just multiply straight across, and I get five over two, two which is equal to two and one half. Two and a half, right? Two goes into five. Two times remainder one. Okay, now that's multiplying the first number by the reciprocal of the second number, but only when I have fractions. Now what about when I have mixed numbers? Can I do two and a half times the reciprocal and go three and five ones? Is that the reciprocal of three and one fifth? No. 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 That's not the reciprocal of three and one fifth because I never really flipped this too. The only thing I flipped was the one fifth. So what I want to do first is make this into what? What do I want to do with three and one, and one fifth, not three and five ones? What do I want to do? Let me erase that. Hang on. What do I want to do with? Uh, actually, just get rid of all this. What do I want to do with three and one fifth in order to be able to flip it? Make it into improper, improper fraction. How do I do that? Three times five. Five times three. Fifteen plus one is sixteen, 16 over five. five. Okay. Now I can do the reciprocal of that, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so what's the reciprocal of 16 over 5? Five? 5 over 16, right? Okay, now can I multiply 2 and a half times 5 sixteenths? No. 1 times 5, 2 times... Well, what am I going to do with that 2? That's too confusing, right? I mean, do I multiply the 2 times the 5, 2, and then do I add it to that? And it's just too crazy. So what do I want to do with this two and one half in order to be able to multiply? Improper fraction. Okay, what does two and a half become? Two times two plus one, right? Five halves times five sixteenths, right? Okay, now now we have it in a, in a situation where I can actually multiply and get the answer. This is what they're asking us to do right here. Okay, I'm taking two and a half, changing it to five halves, taking three and a fifth, changing it to sixteen fifths, and then flipping it to make the reciprocal. Okay? So five times five is? Twenty-five. And two times sixteen? Thirty-two. And that's reduced because I cannot cross-reduce this. Five and two, don't reduce. Five and sixteen, don't reduce. So I know that my answer is good the way it is. Okay, now I want you guys to try one. I'm going to clear all this off. I'm going to give you one to try. So let's do uh, three and two thirds. I want you to multiply that by the reciprocal of one and one fourth. Okay, so pause the video, turn it back on when you're ready to see the solution. All right, let's try it. Okay, what am I going to do first? Make that into an improper, what is that as an improper fraction? 11 over 3. 11 over 3, right? 3 times 3 plus 2 is 11. And I keep the denominator. What's this as an improper fraction right here? 5 over 4. 5 over 4. Okay. But it says to multiply it by the reciprocal of the second number. Not the reciprocal of the first one, but the reciprocal of the second one. So we don't want to flip 11 thirds, right? So it's going to be 11 thirds what? Times, times 4 fifths, right? And the answer is? 44 over 15. 44 over 15. Should I leave it like that? No. How many times does 15 go into 44? Twice. Two times. Two times 15 is? 30. 30. So what's the difference? 14. 14 over 15. 15. And that's my final answer to this problem right here. OK, let's try one more real fast, and then we're done. Let's take um, 1 and 3 fourths by the reciprocal, oops, reciprocal of 2 and 1 half, let's say. Okay, pause the video, turn it back on when you're ready to do, see the solution to that. All right, so 1 and 3 fourths becomes what? Um, 7 over 4. 7 fourths, good. 2 and 1 half? 5 over 5. Now, it's important that you actually write it like this before you write the problem. Otherwise, you're going to accidentally not flip it or something, okay? So now we're going to write the problem. 7 fourths times what? 2 fifths. 2 fifths, good. See any way to cross-reduce that before you do the problem? Uh, yeah. 
what? Four, two. Two. Four becomes? Two. Two becomes? One. Good. Anything else? Seven times one is? Seven. Two times five? Ten. Ten. There's the answer to that problem right there. All right. So it's real important, remember, that you write this one as an improper fraction and then flip it around so you don't get confused. And also do not flip this one. They don't want you to multiply it by the reciprocal of one or three fourths. It's the reciprocal of two and a half. And if you see a problem that doesn't ask you to multiply it by the reciprocal, let's say it just says three and one fourth times two and one fifth or something like that, uh, don't flip the second one. Just change this into what? 13 over 4 times 11 over 5. And just do it right there. Okay, don't flip this second one because they're not saying multiply it by the reciprocal of that number. All right, thanks for watching.